Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome to Behind the Curtain of Kabele. So we are uh, doing our best to recreate uh, hairstyles from the 1930s. This is pre-World War II era hair, and it's in Germany. The setting is in Germany. So we're doing a lot of girls' hair from, that are from the Kit Kat Club, um, who were dancers, and um, I'm not sure what else they did. Other but unspeakable things. Other unspeakable things, <laughs> unmentionable things here. but. Uh, we don't have the products that they had then, but um, I think what, in general what we're trying to do is not use a lot of product. We have to uh, use a little hairspray so it'll last through the show, but we're not using a lot of product, um, and we're doing a lot of things that were waves that might be a little bit of throwback to the 20s because some hairstyles kind of carry over a little bit. And um, we're doing a lot of curls, and what we have that we're working with are uh, people who are in the show that have a lot of long hair that we're trying to make look like shorter hair. So that either means updos or fake bobs, which is, is really interesting and fun to do. So some of the hairstyles that you will see on stage are not really short hair. They look like short hair, but they're very long hair. So that's, that's one of the things we're doing. Usually um, I design the looks with uh, the director with Elizabeth um, for the whole cast, but because I am only one person, uh, I just take care of the leads usually. Um, anyone who needs character makeup, anyone who needs special effects is who I usually take care of. And then um, with volunteers, uh, they can help do the ensemble, do the rest of the cast, or sometimes the actors do it themselves with, you know, some guidance and some help. Kind of turn that way for me. And that's pretty common for theater. A lot of small production companies, the actors rely on themselves to do their makeup, so not a lot of theater companies have help with hair and makeup. But we have such a supportive community here in Ketchikan that um, everyone comes out of the woodwork to kind of help our art community.